Hey people, it's Friday, March the 5th, and it is 2.10 in the afternoon, and the temperature is plus one degree Celsius, but with a very cold wind chill that feels more like minus 10, and I'm just at the corner of Queen Street and Bathurst Street, and I'll walk south along Bathurst to Front Street, and then I'll probably walk east along Front Street. Yeah. I can't remember I did a walk along this section of Bathurst. It's been quite a while from what I remember. I think my last walk down Bathurst, I ended it at Queen Street. So now we'll get to see the most southern part of the street. You can see this row of old row houses here. It's all boarded up, ready to be taken down for a new high-rise development. Kind of bums me out a little bit. I'm a big fan of row houses. And these don't look too bad, really. And this here was a building that burnt down a couple of years ago. And I was hoping they'd have a new development to replace that gap or to fill it up. Hopefully that will happen. We have St. Mary's Roman Catholic Church. You might remember this from where I ended my last live stream. That's looking straight down Adelaide Street. I recently did a walk down Adelaide. Like this freshy location bit the dust. It's crossing King Street. Here we have the Wheat Sheaf, which is billed as Toronto's oldest bar. Thank you. 
Looks like this old commercial building is coming down. A 17 to 20 story residential building. This one too. Diner is gone, which was surprising to me. Like that old Art Deco style building, though. One kitchen. I'm not sure if that's the name of a new establishment that will be going in there or if it was called that before. I'm not too sure. Down Niagara Street. They have the new Farm Boy location, that's a grocery store. And this is the Stacked Market, which is a market made up of these shipping containers. I've done a walk through the stack market in a previous video, if you're interested. Insanely windy right here.
Bathurst Bridge over the rail corridor. Okay, so now we're walking east on Front Street. That is City Place, which is a huge high rise community of condominiums. Finally, the wind dies down a little. It was just like a sustained gale for like a good five minutes. There's the pedestrian bridge. You can access the city place community. And it's looking up Portland Street. I've done a walk up Portland Street in a video not too long ago. Let's look down Draper Street, which is a cool little historic street, it's sort of like hidden away here. I did a video walking down there. At the same time I did my City Place video. I'm going to cross to the other side so I don't have to walk under this hoarding. And so we can get a better look at this huge construction site here. And we can get a look at these rail yards also. A bunch of parked GO trains. So this is the construction site of the well which is the largest construction site in the city and actually I think in all of Canada in terms of the single site there was like something like seven towers all rising simultaneously the tallest, tallest of which is that office tower 
the rest will be residential buildings. There will also be a shopping complex. And this is not very pedestrian friendly here. This little patch on the side here is surprisingly hostile to pedestrians. <laughs> it's wide enough to be an actual sidewalk, but... Uh, I guess they prefer not to make it more easily accessible. There's the Spadina Avenue bridge over the rail corridor. I'm not even sure if I can get across here. Hey. All right, so we're crossing Spadina Avenue.
There we have an awesome, fairly close shot of the CN Tower. Crossing Blue Jays Way. Front Street's main claim to fame, I guess, is that's where Union Station is located, the Royal York Hotel, the Convention Center, and the main access to the CN Tower. For a lot of travelers into the city who arrive at Union Station, it's the first street they see when stepping foot outside the train station. And it's also home to the CBC headquarters, which is this building right here. So you uh, find a cool museum that has some artifacts from old CBC, CBC programs from decades past. And that's also where the, the CBC newscast, The National, is broadcast from, or at least one of their main production centers. This is the convention center we're passing by. And 
that is the Ritz Carlton. Its main entrance is on is on Wellington Street, though, which is the next street heading north from front. This is normally a very busy spot here in front of the convention center. There's always people milling about and things happening. And of course, in the last year or so, it's been pretty dead. I did a, a video way back, I think in 2019, during Fan Expo walking past the convention center with everyone dressed in their cosplays. That was pretty fun. And a few people posed for me. And here we have a new office tower under construction. It'll be, I think, around 50 floors and 240 meters, give or take. Just looking down lower Simcoe Street. And now we're coming to the most well-known stretch of Front Street here. The Royal York Hotel, with Union Station across the street. Just looking up University Avenue. Towers popping up behind the hotel. See the Toronto Dominion Bank Towers and First Canadian Place. And I'm going to talk over this music because every time I walk by here, this place has music blasting every single time at an unusually high volume. And I'm not sure what they're trying to prove or what they think this is. This is not a nightclub, it is a corner of an empty restaurant that no one can go in and eat at so there's no need for music and I'm gonna cross over here <laughs> just to get away from that no one's there turn off your music There's no need to broadcast 
your cheesy commercial music to the whole city. Oh, goodness, it's still blasting. So there's Union Station anyway, the Royal, or sorry, the CIBC Bank Tower. And here's York Street. I will cross back to this side again, even though this music is still blaring. <laughs> Can I get away from this music? Apparently I cannot. We are looking into the south core. And Union Station. And of course, this is usually a hive of activity here. Maybe by late summer, it might start to resemble its old self again. There's the Royal Bank Plaza. And that's the L Tower condominium. This unique profile. Looking north up Bay Street into the financial district. The south core. And looking directly into the sun. <laughs> now well, this is the Dominion Public Building. It's another impressive structure.
Yeah, we're just approaching Young Street, which will mark the end of Front Street West. Once you cross Young, it becomes Front Street East. And that's all I wanted to show in this video was Front Street West. I've done a previous video walking Front Street East. So I think I will wrap this up here. I can see my battery is in the red. So if you enjoyed this walk down the southernmost part of Bathurst Street from Queen down to Front and then walking along Front Street West from Bathurst here to Young Street, by all means, subscribe to my channel. Like, share, comment, tell your friends and your family. And be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link in the description where you can do so via PayPal. And you can look me up on Instagram if you like. My name on there is K Continuum. So, thanks for watching. And be sure to keep checking back. Because as always, I will continue.